with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Gunkel, two-time recipient of the Louisiana Association of Broadcasters Award for Best Weathercast. Welcome back. Well, many can probably agree with me that it's just plain miserable outside, especially if you're working outdoors. You've spent some time today. We had a lot of sunshine out there, but it's all that humidity that's really making it somewhat unbearable outside. In fact, we had feel like temperatures today. Once again, hit that 100 mark. A lot of areas even surpassed it this afternoon and tomorrow. Little change, hot and humid once again with those heat indices hitting that triple digits. Now, as we move forward, by the time we get to Sunday, we'll get back to some cloud cover and even the possibility of some scattered showers heading into the afternoon. Maybe a couple that we even need to keep an eye on as they could become slightly strong. We're probably going to keep it below that severe threshold, but there may be one or two outliers with some lightning and some gusty winds. We'll get back to a couple scattered showers heading into your Monday. Right now, you're live, Viper Radar. And again, as you see here, our exclusive picture showing you not a thing. As you notice, your future track tonight, a couple clouds kind of passing their way through the area, but otherwise a dry start, lots of sunshine heading into your afternoon. I think more than what we even saw today. However, as you see, we've got the threat of some storms starting out Sunday early on. We will be dry, but by the time we get to about lunch, you see a couple of those thunderstorms kind of racing through the area, maybe one or two intense pockets out there where we could see about a half an inch to an inch of overall rainfall. And then it quickly pushes through, but some scattered showers redevelop as soon as we head into your Monday. And as you notice, the rain estimates, this is for the next three days. So Saturday, Sunday, heading into Monday. Well, there's the possibility that we could see probably about an inch of rainfall, but most areas probably about a half an inch or so. And most of it is definitely going to be in individual spots, those higher amounts. So we've got another day underneath the blazing sun, some dry weather and heat for your Saturday. Come Sunday, some showers and some storms. Stay weather aware. We get back to a typical summertime pattern for much of next week. And then by the end of the week, well, Pay attention to the Gulf because we could be looking at a tropical system heading towards the northern Gulf Coast by the end of the week. 91 officially this afternoon. We started out at a very warm 74 degrees. That puts us a hair above normal. But as you see, all that blue skies behind us, 88 at this hour, still feels like 95 with winds out of the west southwest at about eight miles per hour on our live tower cam. Tonight we're going to drop back down into the mid 70s. A couple clouds quickly racing their way through, but we get back to plenty of sunshine. Your current feel like temperatures, even at this hour, still remain in the mid to upper. 90s. Some areas still sitting in the 100s across the region, so we're not really going to cool off much this evening. You can see you feel like temperatures quickly jump into the mid, and I believe this model right here is actually low. We're actually calling for upper 90s and lower 100s at the peak hours tomorrow afternoon. We're also keeping a very close eye on the Gulf, and as you see here, the National Hurricane Center watching an area in the Bay of Campeche, giving it about a 20% chance of development. Models do show some Possible movement towards the northern Gulf Coast towards the end of next week. We're talking next Friday going into the weekend. It's definitely something worth watching and just knowing that there is that potential that something could be out there. But as at least for this week, and we really don't have to worry about it. I think our biggest concern is to see exactly where that heavy rain does set up as we move towards the latter part of next week. So again, a lot to watch and we will continue to monitor very closely in the coming days. So for us until then, we've got a warm southerly breeze keeping us hot and humid and plenty of sunshine throughout much of the weekend before we get those storms heading into your Sunday. So here's that extended forecast for you as we expand out the next seven days. 92 hot and humid, lots of sunshine. Sunday we'll get back to some showers and storms, one or two on the strong side. Flag day on Monday, possibility of some rain. Storms become more isolated. It's that typical daytime heating stuff Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But as you see at the tail end, come Friday, moving towards the northern Gulf Coast, we've been looking at a system out there. At this point, maybe tropical storm, maybe a tropical depression. But the thing is, it looks like it could provide a lot of heavy rain for the northern Gulf Coast. We'll have to 